Okay, so now that we have everything drilled and smoothed it out, we'll just start assembling it and see and see how it fits, how everything fits together. So this one is supposed to go here. Let's see. We just clean a little bit of aluminum which is here. Yeah. And let's see. How how good this fits. Okay, these two are okay. I could actually use just two bolts per motor and probably will be that would give me a a lighter gimbal. And but honestly I also don't think that two or four extra bolts per motor will make that much of a difference so I'm not gonna tighten anything down right now this one doesn't want to go straight it wants to ruin the thread, so I must be careful with it. Just tight a little bit, not much. And uh, as you can see, this one's already working. Now, which part goes here? this one and this one goes here okay so this is getting pretty much assembled it looks like that I have an alignment problem on these holes on this part gonna have to fix it but these ones here seem to work okay so we'll put the bolts in and see what we end up what we end up with and uh, let me just put the screws in another one another one here and another one here okay now I'm tightening these down, not over tight, we don't want anything over tight, then we'll simply lock all these screws with a bit of Loctite so that they don't come out, it does not need to be on the thread, because they won't come out easily. And uh, oh, 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 looks like something is whoa. I wonder if I ruin this one. Well, it looks like the bolts provided are too long. And we're gonna have to use four of these spacers in order not to hit the wires inside the motor. 
and don't damage it. Balance that all, but there's still one part missing, so hopefully that will work out. Okay, so this is pretty much the finished product, and I have here several sets of holes. I have these for outside and these for inside, and I think I'm gonna make another four even further in. And this will allow me to balance the gimbal according to the camera weight. If I use a smaller or a bigger camera, that will allow me to to balance it properly. Okay. Now I only have to wait for the control board to arrive on the mail and test this out. Here it is and adding 10 grams of weight to the camera I'm using. See, it is. Perfectly. Balanced. Just with 10 grams of weight. If I remove the weight, 10 grams, 5, 10. If I remove it, it goes like this, but I think that once I have the control board, maybe it will find its way even without weight. If I want to use a bigger camera like a GoPro, I would just change these holes here I would change this to the outer holes so this part would like go move this part would move here and the weight of the camera would compensate for this motor moving 
this side and uh, that's it and there is the brushless gimbal 137 grams and that's how tall the tricopter is gonna be in order to fit it 